Color grading is the process of creating a look for your video. The tones that you set will help convey different emotions to the viewers. And that is why it's important to get it right. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional colorist. This is just my workflow and it can get you some decent results. So my grading workflow includes three steps. The first step is converting the log footage to Rec. 709 color space. For those of you who don't know what is Rec. 709, it's a color space that is being used on our displays to make sure that the color that we see is accurate. So after we are done converting to Rec. 709, the second step is adding a LUT to the footage. LUT or lookup table is like a preset that you apply onto the footage and it creates a different look. Then the third step is making adjustments to the clips so that it looks perfect. So let's start with the first step. So this is our clip. This clip has been shot in vlog color profile and we need to convert it to rec 709. First of all we will open up the color tab and let's go to Lumetri color. Go to creative. Select a conversion LUT. Usually you can get conversion LUTs for free. According to the color profile your clip has been shot on, you'll have to get your conversion LUT. For example, for Sony it's S-Log, for Canon it's C-Log. So since this was shot on Lumix, it has been shot on V-Log color profile. Now if you want to color grade a clip that has been shot in standard or neutral color profile, then you can totally skip this step. Chances are your clip is already in Rec. 709 color space. So we are going to convert it. Set the LUT intensity to around 70, 80. Now I like to bump up the vibrance to 10. As you can see this brings up the contrast and the saturation back in the image. Now the second step is adding a LUT onto this clip. I like to create a Lumetri color effect for each step. So let's create another Lumetri color effect on top of this. Now go to creative. There are different types of LUTs. So let's try this. Set the LUT intensity to about 20 or 30%. So as you can see. This clip is nowhere near the final product. We have still more adjustments to do. Now it's time for the third step. This is where I add in the adjustments. So I'll go ahead and add another Lumetri color effect. As you can see the image clearly lacks some contrast. So I'll go ahead to the curves and add a little bit of contrast by creating a S curve. So I'll bring down the blacks by just a little. Another thing I'd like to mention is that you should be looking at your Lumetri scopes while adjusting the curves. You should make sure nothing crosses 100 and nothing goes below 0. Now we have the contrast in the image. But we need to brighten up the subject just a little. To do this, add another Lumetri color effect. Now go to curves and select the midtones. Raise it up just a little. Now as you can see the effect is applied into the entire image. So we need to mask it. Now let's go to effect controls. Create a mask around the subject and set the feather to around 500. It looks good but I want to raise the skin tones just a little. So for this I'll go to the hue versus luma curve. Now we are going to select the eyedropper tool and select the skin tone. Now let's raise the luma by just a little amount. As you can see the jacket looks very faded. So I want to make the blues a little bit deeper. So for this effect I'll go to the hue versus luma again and I'll select the eyedropper and select the blue color of the jacket. Now I'll go to luma and decrease it to make it deeper. Perfect. So in most cases I am done at this step, but since it's a portrait video, I'll go ahead and add a glow effect to it. To add the glow effect, duplicate your clip and place it on top of your original clip. Add a luma key effect and a gaussian blur effect. Set the gaussian blur to around 100. Set the luma key till until only your highlights are selected. Now set the blending mode to screen. Decrease the opacity by 
let's say around 30 or 40 percent okay done so we went from this image to this image and that's pretty much it those were all the effects that i used to color grade this video and again i would like to mention this is just my workflow you don't necessarily have to follow these steps you can experiment around if you want to create a look without using LUTs you can go ahead and adjust the colors manually too and that's where professional colorists come in you can look at videos from wakas kazi he's a pro when it comes to color grading i'll leave a link in the description to his channel other than that if you found anything helpful or informative in this video then drop a like leave a comment and thank you so much for watching